Don't worry, I'll throw some. Come here, hey. Today's lesson, right? Thank you very much. Next in the progression of kathas from Seisan at fourth cue is Nisei Shi at third cue, and then you will get into Rohai Sho at second cue and Rohai Dai at, at first cue. And those are all the uh, cue uh, katas. And then once you're in black belt, you know, you go Shodan, Nidan, etc. Okay, so here is, is uh, Nisei Shi. It's a very compact kata, a lot of short stances. Uh, so you're going to see Sanchen Dachi a, a lot. Uh, you're going to see, you know, some of the other stances, but you know, you're moving in Sanchen Dachi. And you'll see why because of the, the contraction movements, the tensing up movements, the tightening up movements, different rhythm in terms of breathing, slow, hard, pull in. Uh, versus moving very quickly in terms of, of, of breathing and movements. Okay, here we go. Go away. First movement is second, third, again. Quick. I'm going to move out of camel range. I'm going to step back. You're here. You drew that hip punch, you know. Hip, uh, do that punch back to the hip, and then you go to explode out. Yeah! And then you punch, ease, come through, ease, punch again, come back. Kick, one, two, three, trap. Going the other way. You would kick, come down, one, two, three, come back. Strike. In this range here, uh, you know, and make that through again. Explain some of the boom kai oil. So you like now you double arm block, you're tensing up. This is when somebody who's testing you at a higher rank comes out with a sheen eye, beats the living daylights out of you across the arms, across the abdomens, across the shoulders, across the thighs, across the back of the legs. And just, you know, you're just tensing up so much. Step forward. Sanchin Dachi. Come back. Take a deep breath. Double punch. And turn out. Tense up. Tense up. Relax. Come forward again. Come forward, Sanchin Dachi. Come back. Push out. Draw back quickly. And then you snap out. Step forward. Yeah! To a Zenku Surachi punching actus coming through, and that's my foot came out. As I hear, I'm in Shikodachi stance coming through, hand out, and punching. Okay, notice from here I didn't do this. Don't come around, you're very vulnerable to get. Hit and that arm is coming through, and you've lost the movement. Something's gonna hit you, you've lost balance, you can, you're, you're, you're exposing yourself. So, here, come through. Somebody's gonna come through, hit me. You know, I'm gonna try to maybe deviate, but here you're getting blocked. You stop. So, here, anyways, here, come through, punch, come back, sorry, come back. Left hand down, right hand up, blocking, shoot toe striking, front kick coming down, Kosadachi, block, block, first strike, these could be strikes, bam, bam, you're hitting somebody's foot. One, two, maybe you're trapping the foot. Maybe you're hitting somebody's hand, hand. I hit that hand, I hit that hand again. Oh, I'm gonna trap the hand. I'm going to raise that hand up, come back, strike into the rib cage. Go any other way. Shoot those strikes straight through. Do not bring your arm around. That will throw you off balance. 
in here. Momentum is not circular, but it's, it's straight. That way you can lock into the Shikodachi stands into the Kosodachi stands and be nice, perfectly balanced. Strike. Okay? Jab. Jab. You know, it could be a fist. It could be knuckles. It could be spear hand. You know, strike into the carotid. Okay? If it's a fist, strike into the jaw. Okay? Front kick, my gay. Come down. One. Two, strike, strike, grab, hit repeat. Same thing, come through. And from here, and I just come out here. Nisei Chi, Sanchi Da Chi. A nice, close in fighting stance. <clears throat> so maybe somebody's coming in and, you know, they're going to try to do this. Bam, bam. And you're on the inside. Boom. But that was, that's what that stance is for. And close right here. Sudachi she she stands. You may have to move back and equal Ashidashi. Maybe hit somebody. You know, they're coming at me. I need so much torque, I'm gonna break that wrist as they come through and are punching at me. And bam, I hit the wrist. I grab it, push it through, punch, kick. I don't know. Scenario is playing is very important to fluidity. And you have the katas, you have the patterns of movements. The katas have these movements. There's no reason that you can't be doing this and the movements, which I do not do, but you can. It's a variation. You know, you, maybe you want to move forward. Maybe that's the best angle for you. It doesn't always have to be at 45 degrees. But recognize what each of the angles represents. You know, you're very used to, you know, forward, or back, back, forward. You know, this game. Or maybe, you know, here, or here. You, you, you. Gate angles allow you the freedom of movement, degrees, freedom of movement. Um, if the person is directly in front of you, I'm short. Karate was designed on short people. Good for me. Um, 
So, karate is going to be coming in low. Low, coming in low. Taking out the legs. You know, attacking the support base. Um, I'm not a basketball player. I'm not going to come in from above. I'm not, you know, some of these karate teachers I've had. I'm not going to come in from above. And, you know, most people are taller than me. I'm not going to, you know, I don't really want to come in, you know, at their weapon zone. I want to come in slightly below that weapon zone. I don't want to come in. I want to go below. I want to attack the base. And that's where your footwork is really in session. And just fluidity of movement. Just practice moving. Practice moving. Just move. stance the other. Use all the stances. It's very easy to move around, you know, in a stance that you know about. You know, modify Zen Kutsudachi or Shikurachi stance. You know, teaching you stances you probably haven't focused in on because they haven't been in the progression of the Kabas to show you those stances. And Sanjin Dachi. Working and concentrating on Uichi Jiaqi, your stance. You know, concentrate on the stance here. And I'm going to teach you this. Teach you this movement. To be able to, you know, teach you angles, angles, lines of attack. Where are your lines of attack? Where are you concentrating your energies on? Depending on, you know, the situation of people in the room. All these moving and kata stances, always. Close to she. Yeah! Same goes to that she. Lose! She goes that she. Lose! Yeah! Modified. She goes that she. center of gravity, lower center of gravity for your movement, your zone, my zone shorter, your zone different, what works best for you, me, short, once you have quick movement, mobility of movement, agility in movement, quickness, angles, sweeps, low kicks, Low kicks, low kicks, low kicks, low kicks. Low kicks do not need to be high. Low kicks, low kicks, low kicks, low kicks. Don't need to be high. High is way, way slow. Can't do thrust kicks with Yoko Getty. I have to be satisfied with snap kicks, you know, with Yoko Getty. You know, so instead of uh, doing spinning back kick here, I have to do it as spinning uh, uh, snap side kick. You know, I just practice that routine just to get your hips moving. Not so much a street technique, it's just to get the hips right up, balance and moving forward, always moving forward. Your opponent's there in that situation, if you're doing spinning and coming in, you better be damn sure you're pretty on target, okay? But you do have spinning movements in, you know, the system. 
the person right here against me. Right handed, meaning this is their hot zone. Anywhere between, you know, straight ahead to maybe about 90 degrees. I don't want to be. So my direction is there on uh, going against their blind spot. So they're like this. I'm not going to want to go across here. I'm going to want to go across their blind spot in this direction. Okay. What I have to worry about is this hand and this foot and making sure that person is not able to reload and follow me around. You reload, you've gone back to zero. They reload, you've gone back to zero. Okay, so I'm right-handed. I may want to shift my balance to my other hand. And now I can jab, I can turn, strike elbow, and hammer fist, punch to the ribs, punch kidneys, you know, go to the, they're in this direction, uh, their back is to me, you know, sweep, come through, you know, maybe back the way. I did the initial turn, I just did a turn now, I was just to get, it aided my momentum to get the heck out of the way. That's a very tricky maneuver to come in, you know, do that. That's, that movement is meant to drive circular motion going in the direction in which in that case is this direction, circular motion. Tricky move. Um, I wouldn't suggest it unless you're really good at it. And then you have, you know, basically, you know, you're coming in to their blind spot. You know, coming in. Boom. Boom. Sweep. Come in and sweep behind. Grab him by the shoulder. Sweep in. Your leg out. Sweep. Sweep. He's sweeping. Kick him back. Sweeping. Maintain your balance. If if you drop down, if you dive them down to the ground, and you're, you're they're coming over your, your right shoulder, you know, very big person, I'm gonna have to drop down really low to get them to come over. Kudo. Yeah, so I would just stick to the sweep. Just sweep and, and move out. And you sweep and you move out. Groundwork is very, very dangerous. Don't have a newbie, a partner to show you groundwork. Uh, someday. Okay. Me say she and a whole bunch of other stuff. As usual. Shingo ha Yoshukai Amuro Yamamoto Founder of Yoshukai Mike Sadler Founder of Shingo Ha Yoshikai. Thank you very much. Today's lesson. Thank you very much. No, I got to go so much.